Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving some problems based on the topic proved by contradiction. So let's get started. So the question says that if n squared is odd then n is also odd and we need to prove this statement by contradiction. So instead of starting this one, let me just give you a brief idea about how this method actually works. So instead of proving that this statement is true, instead of doing that, we will prove that the statement is not false. So proving that this is not false actually means that the statement is true, the statement is correct. So for that, the first step is to assume whatever they are saying, you need to assume the opposite. So my assumption should be n square is odd, n is even. So, my assumption is n squared is odd, but instead of n being odd, I am selecting n as an even integer. Since n is even, we can write n as 2k. Any even integer, you can actually express that as a multiple of 2. 2k, whatever the value of k is, where k is an integer. Whatever the value of k is, 2k is always a multiple of 2, making this thing an even integer. So, if you need to select anything related to odd, in that case, you can just add 1 with this thing. Because adding 1 with an even number gives you the next, gives you the consecutive term, which is obviously an odd integer. Similarly, if you add 1 with an odd value, we will end up getting an even value. So, these are some basic information you need to know before solving this one. So now that I know the value for n, I can actually calculate n square, which is 2k, so 4k square. 4k square is a multiple of 2, obviously. So actually, we got that n square is a multiple of 2 and it is an even integer which contradicts with our assumption. n square is 4k square which is obviously a multiple of 2 that makes it an even number but n square was supposed to be odd. Our initial assumption was that n square is odd but eventually we got this thing which is an even value. So this line actually contradicts with our assumption which means we are wrong and the question is actually correct. So let me just summarize the whole thing. You need three simple steps to prove anything by contradiction. The first is to make an assumption. Make an assumption which is opposite to the question. Assume the opposite. Second, you need to simplify and you will get a situation which actually contradicts with your initial assumption. That makes us wrong and eventually that proves that the initial statement in the question is actually correct. So you need to agree with the question. That's the third step. So we are done with the first math. Let's start with the second one. Okay, so in this one, if PQ is even, then at least one of P or Q has to be even. So the first step is to assume the opposite, right? So let's start. So I will assume that if PQ is even, P or Q has to be odd. Since P and Q are odd, I need to replace that with a variable which is 2K plus 1 or 2M plus 1. You need to use different variables here. So P equals 2K plus 1 and let Q equals 2M plus 1. You have to select a different variable here where K and M are integer values. Next, I will try to find an expression for PQ. And then I will simplify this one. So 
So from this expression, as we can see, the first three number, we can actually take two out of it. We can factorize this part. So two k m plus k plus m plus one. So since this term inside the bracket is an integer and you have a 2 outside the bracket, so this entire thing has to be a multiple of 2 which makes it an even value. And you are adding 1 with an even value. So this exact PQ thing is actually even plus 1 makes it odd. Which contradicts with our initial assumption because we assume PQ to be an even value value right and eventually we got pq expression as an odd value which contradicts with our initial assumption making the original statement correct right the original statement given in the question is now correct because in the original expression pq is even when p or q is even so i have solved two practice problems in this video and to make things even easier i will add few extra problems related to this even and odd concept of proof by contradiction